Hi everyone, welcome to Nancy Said. I'm Nina and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do the herringbone stitch as featured in the Pebbles Kyle. I'm using two colours. These are 50 gram balls of Rico uh, Creative Melange. As you can see they have just 90 metres in them and I've used three of these balls so if you're substituting just make sure you have enough yardage. You don't need all three so I'd say about 250 metres should do the trick. So let's get started. You'll be starting with tw uh, 35 chains made loosely preferably to get going but I'm just going to show you a little sample as made over 10 stitches. So we'll be making herringbone stitches and that's in UK terms. Herringbone trebles in American terms that will be US double crochets. So into the fourth chain from the hook one two, three and four, we work our first stitch, wrap the hook, go into the chain and bring the yarn out. And before you get more yarn, bring the front loop on through the middle loop for two loops. And then yarn over, come through the first loop, yarn over and come through both. That's the herringbone treble. We'll be working the whole scarf, the whole cull in that one stitch. So once you get it, you get it. Yarn over into the next chain and draw up a loop. And before you get more, bring it on through the middle. Then yarn over, chain one, yarn over through two. I'll show you again. Yarn over, in and out, and on through. Yarn over through one, yarn over through two. Yarn over, in and out, and on through. Yarn over through one, yarn over through two. Yarn over, in and out, and on through. Yarn over through one, yarn over through two. Yarn over, in and out. Don't get more yarn. Bring it on through, yarn over through one, yarn over through two. And you can see they lean over slightly to one side, which starts to create the herringbone because on the next row they go the opposite direction. So we have one more stitch to do, yarn over, in and out, and on through, yarn over through one, yarn over through two. Now in this pattern, the turning chains don't count as a stitch, so we would be counting our stitches, not including that first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so turn. Chain two, which doesn't count as a stitch, which means we'll work into the very first stitch in here, in and out. And on through, yarn over through one, yarn over through two. And it starts to poke out, which gives us a scalloped edge without any, any edging, which is very handy. Yarn over into the next stitch, in and out, and bring it on through. Yarn over through one, yarn over through two. Yarn over, in and out, and on through. Yarn over through one, yarn over through two. So that's it. Oops. Yarn over, in and out, and on through. You'll notice I'm working it quite loosely. So if I show you how I use this thumb, yarn over, in and out, fairly tall, be generous. Then I pinch off the front loop so that I can catch it and bring it through. And that will speed you up a little bit. Just want to show you one more time what happens when you get to this end because you'll not be sure maybe and I'm here to alleviate any doubt. So normally we would have two stitches left here, the real treble and the turning chain, but we're not going to work the turning chain, which is another very handy thing. Yarn over, go into the last stitch. You can see it, two loops there. And it looks like, hey, I, I haven't gone out far enough. 
you know, it looks like I still would have a stitch to work. So is it going to start coming in? No. We're going to chain two and turn or vice versa. And we're going to work the very first stitch. So where we came in, we're now going to go out again. Yarn over into the very first stitch. If you pull back on that, it'll, it'll open up for you. And what I'd like to show you is the result that that gives. To show you it here. It gives a nice scalloped edge. So every two rows you get a little, whoop, a little bump. And that means you don't have to add a decorative edge at the end of at the end of everything. When you're finished with the cowl, you put a seam, slip stitch it together, and you do that. You you would work your your cowl like this, and before you join, flip one side and then join, and that gives you a constant twist like a Mobius strip. Mobius. <laughs> you don't have to be a uh, Dutch to say it, but uh, it might help. So there we go. That's the Pebbles Cowl, and I really hope you enjoy it. You can pick your own colours. This has 50% uh, uh, New Virgin Wool in it, and 50% polyester, which, you know, if I'm being honest, it's lovely and soft, but it probably could be a little bit softer. You know, it, it has a something woolly about it, which I think 100% acrylic is softer next to the skin, but it doesn't last maybe as long. So it's a toss up, isn't it? And you could always soften this and soften it. But it isn't that, I mean, it's not that rough. It's lovely, but uh, just something to bear in mind when you're making your selection. I just think the colors are lovely and soft. And I think this is something you could pull on over your head and wear all the time. So I hope you like it, everybody. And thank you so much for checking in with Nancy Said. I really appreciate it. And it makes my day. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.